In this video, we will provide a relatively short overview of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Service Application, most recently known as the Customer Service Hub. This app, which is a member of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 family of apps, is arguably one of the richest in pure functionality, and it provides a robust service experience for both staff and for customers. I say this because the Enterprise Edition of this app comes with a customer-facing self-service portal and it supports powerful operational service management features such as queues, entitlements, service level agreements, embedded knowledge base articles, and of course, cases. It also supports add-ons like a web-based virtual customer service agent powered by a chatbot and seamless handoff through Omnichannel for customer service. We'll cover all of these items in this video. The web-based application is accessed through various supported web browsers and also through native applications on mobile devices using iOS and Android operating systems. What you're looking at right now is the browser access version and I'm using the Chrome browser. On the left side of the screen you have access to what we call tables or specific types of information. Each icon allows us to browse to a list of rows that represent that type of record. For instance, as I click on the accounts, I see a list of accounts. The list itself, known as a view, provides a filter to show me the information that I myself need to see. As you can see, there are many views, and you can create your own view and pin a view to make it your default view. Well, once I click on a row, I'm presented with a form that is designed to show a 360 degree view of everything I need to know about this particular record in the database. The form presents information in what are known as sections, or groups of fields, and also tabs, which segregate sections on different pages entirely. In the customer service application on the account form, we see three major sections on the screen, and a somewhat dynamic section on the right side, which is driven by a set of controls on the far right of the screen. For instance, the default related section shows the contacts that are related to this particular account. But if I click on the small wrench, I'm now presented with a list of cases for that account. And if I click on the entitlements icon, I can access any entitlements that this account possesses. In addition to this flexible related section, we also have the timeline, which is another sort of grid that shows a variety of different types of rows, all of which are related directly to the account that I'm working with at the moment. And right from this section, I can add many types of activities, such as appointments, emails, phone calls, and more. These activities can synchronize with Microsoft Outlook. This layout is very common throughout the system, and any type of record that supports activities will show a timeline. Let's talk about the key entities and the features of this application. I would say that the heart and soul of the customer service app, as it were, is the case entity but we will briefly describe important surrounding entities and features as well. Accounts are essentially organizations of any kind. They most often represent customers, but they can also be used to track vendors or partners or any other type of organization that you interact with and which deserve a place in your database. Contacts, essentially people. In many cases, they may be customers or other people that you interact with and they may or may not be directly related to your lists of accounts. Cases, as we've mentioned, is one of the most important entities in the customer service app, since it is used to track most of the efforts surrounding the servicing of the needs of your customers or constituents. As you can see from the case form, this entity supports a defined process of case management. So you can standardize and guide your staff through a series of structured stages and steps to the resolution of a problem. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that these stages and steps are entirely customizable. And by that, I mean you can rename the stages, remove stages, add stages as you like, and even change and create the steps within the stages as needed. You can completely reform this to your organization's needs. These steps, you'll notice, are in fact fields in the database which can also be surfaced on forms and in views as well. You can even set a field as a requirement before the case can move to the next stage. The case entity also features a hierarchical subject tree, entirely customizable. 
which can be used to carefully segment and manage the types of cases that your staff deals with. These subjects can also be aligned with cues and knowledge articles, which we'll discuss in a moment. Similar to what you saw in the account entity, we have a timeline for various activities, as well as a controllable grid of related records that are surfaced based on what I click on the far right. For instance, I'm now switching from recent cases and entitlements to relevant knowledge articles and then to similar cases that correspond to this particular case. Note that as an administrator, you can set up rules that link cases automatically. And your staff, of course, can link similar cases manually with a click. A form has a series of tabs, each of which shows details and related information to the case. As everywhere in Dynamics 365, all of this layout is entirely customizable. If you need to simplify your operation to show less data, or in some cases, create more robust features and functions with custom tabs, custom sections, and custom fields. Cues provide the ability for your customer service staff to see cases that no one is currently working and then to pick or claim those cases, which then removes them from, let's say, the open queue to the personal queue of the staff member. When this choosing is performed with the use of a dashboard, everyone in the organization can see who is working on what cases and who isn't. When the staff member is finished working on the case, they can then release the case back into the open queue or close the case, which can then automatically move it to the closed case queue. Various queues can be set up according to whatever criteria you like, and cases can be automatically routed to these specific queues based on whatever criteria exist in the case. Using carefully constructed dashboards and providing those relevant dashboards to your staff can help them focus on the work that matters and for which they have a specific aptitude. Entitlements allow you to allocate a specific number of either hours or a number of cases to clients that they are then allowed to consume during a specific time frame. For instance, many organizations use an hour-based allocation to provide a set number of customer service hours per month or year. This is especially true for professional service organizations. Time-based entitlement like this is automatically managed by the system when your staff open and close cases for the customer. When a case is closed, the staff is prompted to enter the amount of time the case took to resolve. And once the case is closed, the system automatically subtracts the amount of time used for the case from the entitled allocation of hours, revealing the remaining time available in the entitlement. For an entitlement based on the number of cases, a closed case will subtract one from the allocation to reveal the remaining number of cases in the entitlement. Using email templates, it's possible to send out notifications that show remaining allocation to your customers automatically at the close of a case or on a specific time-based schedule if necessary. The creation, editing, approval, and application of knowledge-based articles is a powerful system by which your staff can be supported by knowledge in their efforts to help your customers. This is also true with the customer service portal, which can tie knowledge base articles to the portal when a customer signs into the portal to create a case. Depending on the subject of the case, knowledge base articles can be surfaced to help solve the problem. Now this method is used to potentially reduce the need for a case in the first place. Add-ons like Omnichannel and Power Virtual Agent provide additional functionality wherein a virtual agent hosted on a website can interact logically with a visitor to provide a rich set of information without using any of your staff's time until the visitor needs a human touch to provide seamless and efficient handoff to Omnichannel. As you can see, this agent is responding to a handoff from the bot on the website. Using Omnichannel for customer service, the live agent then takes over the conversation and human interaction begins. One of the more potent features of this application is the ability to configure the automatic creation of activities based on changing data in the system. Using Power Automate, it's possible to create emails or tasks, schedule appointments, all based on automatic rules that you decide work for your organization. Now we've mentioned dashboards a couple of times on this video, but we should mention some of the important benefits of using dashboards. First, from a customer service perspective with the use of queues, dashboards can provide real-time information for the entire team to help manage work efficiently. 
Secondly, they can provide visual representations of information in the context that matters to them. For instance, here I have a visual representation of my own cases in terms of their urgency. Thirdly, dashboards can show up to six different types of information all at once, instead of my clicking on each icon to the left to obtain more information about that type of information, I can see it all in one place. As you can see, I can immediately see critical information about cases, queues, entitlements, accounts, and contacts without a single click. And lastly, they're interactive. Thus, I can select on any dashboard component and drill down on a specific field to reveal a breakdown of information based on that field. In this video, we only had time to touch on a few of the many features and benefits available in Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer service. If you enjoy this video, click like below and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to be notified of new videos that we post, click the little bell icon next to subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about what we do, or if you'd like some help with Microsoft Dynamics, Power Apps, or Power BI, please visit netwoven.com.